Hello and welcome to Alliance War Season 48, Episode 12. So we did lose to four Loki, we dropped 12 deaths to them, I think they dropped 10 to us. Couldn't find the war summary anywhere for the life of me, but yeah, we have to basically win this war very well to win, uh, to get that master spot. We only actually have three fights this war. Apparently they didn't really trust me to, to bring this home for us. No, obviously I'm joking, but we have, yeah, three fights and our opponent is Paolo, so they are a Platinum 1 Alliance, currently sit two ranks below us, just seventh in Platinum 1, so definitely uh, like us in the rankings. Our team is our six star rank five Hood, our seven star rank one Mojo, and our six star rank three Odin. And our masteries are the same as our Alliance War Defenders because we will be running Mystic Dispersion for all three of our fights. And there's really no need to change it for the three fights that we're doing today. So the first fight here is a Corvus Glaive. In fact, all the fights we're taking today are Tactic Defenders, so Corvus Glaive is no exception. Obviously, Corvus is much more of a, an offensive threat than a defensive threat. There's really not that much he has going on that we need to worry about. So we're using Hood here. We do have the Mojo Synergy on our side, which means that whenever we knock the Defender down, we actually restore three of our bullets, which is really nice. So you'll see, whenever we knock Corvus down, we will get three persistent charges back. We won't see one 20, and now we got to 23. So that will happen whenever we knock him down, whether it's a heavy attack or a special attack. So we're, we're not really going for one big uh, heavy here, we're just going for a series of small ones. But we really, the main thing is we want to maintain it all of our bullets. We want to keep them pretty high for for the remainder of our fights. We don't want to waste, you know, half of our bullets and then have and then run out by the time we get to our last fight. So we throw the striker there into the heavy. That gets him down to seven percent. Obviously, we do have his his glaive uh, immortality to worry about when he gets that one percent. So you'll see he has a all those 20 charges so we can just hit into him here and then finish him off here with a combo and we're actually at 32 persistent charges now so that was the only section one fight we had where we've got two fights on part eight in section two now the first one is this craven so craven is a bit more tricky than than corvus obviously because we do have that root on the special one and then also the the short and stun durations if we do decide to parry him so we would parry him if maybe a few, one or two times, but we're really not going to rely on it because there is that inbuilt limber that, that Craven has. Now, I, I didn't actually have any paralysis at this point, so I do had to throw a few hit, few lights into block so that we remove those indestructibles. We deck a special two there, and we obviously want to get some paralysis here, so we do a few lights into block. We are dexing a bit though, and we decide to actually in, activate our invisibility here and throw a big special two. That will activate our invisibility again. Fortunately for us, he did not throw the special one. We don't we don't want him to throw the special one. We throw our heavy attack with 17 hexes. That didn't really do too much damage. Uh, and he actually throws his special two. He does have indestructible at the moment. But so the plan is obviously to get some lights in the block to remove the indestructibles. We really should have done a lot more of this at the start of the fight. So we did have, because we didn't really have to worry about the indestructible at all. We could just be safely high on prowesses. But you know, we, it still works, it just takes probably a bit longer now that we had a bit of indestructible to worry about. We're at three prowesses now. We're still doing really well with our, with our hexes. We've got 23. We only used nine, I think, this is, in this fight, and this is a much trickier fight than Corvus. And you can see that that one parry was very quick. We were barely able to counter it, so that so we, did, we knew that we couldn't parry that much. And then the last fight here for the war is the Silver Surfer. Only a rank one server, but this is on Rich Get Richer, so we he will start getting uh, power over time and so we do actually have a power star one so we can get to that special two as quickly as possible and nullify all of his buffs so that we don't have to worry about rich get richer so we throw the special two there that nullifies his uh his power cosmic buff and also the power gain buffs that he had we throw a small heavy there it gets rid of a few or oh, a bit, 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 bit of his health uh, we get a few prowesses by throwing lights into block we want to bait the special two out of course Unfortunately, we get clipped at the end of that double medium attack. Uh, we get back to another special two with the power back boost. We're only running small mystic power back boost, so that's all we really need for these path fights. And we get a nice heavy in there. Um, we're pretty much always at, we're almost at a special three now from Rich Get Richer. In fact, we do get to a special three because we have the dex buff on us. So that does activate Rich Get Richer because he doesn't have any buffs on him at the moment. And so we definitely could have thrown the special three, but I decided to just, just combo him to death and that, that did the trick with a heavy at the end. 
So that was our war, pretty chill, just the three fights. I'm getting better with Hood for sure, but um, he's still, I'm still not really comfortable with him uh, at the moment. Definitely need to practice with him more. But yeah, 88% uh, solar rate for the season. That's gonna, that's, that's our season performance. All right, guys, so that does conclude season 48 of Alliance War. I am recording this video a few weeks after the season finished. Unfortunately, despite winning that last war really, really comfortably, we only had six deaths for that final war of the season against Paolo. Uh, by far our best war of the season. It still wasn't quite enough to clinch that master spot. We finished first in Platinum 1, which really, really sucks because uh, the the amount of extra awards you get just from finishing in that top 20 is, is a lot, especially considering there was that extra there was the extra jump in the rewards brackets from the War 7 issue. So we did actually get a Masters title, but didn't really earn it because we didn't finish in Masters. Uh, this is actually not the first time I finished first in Platinum 1. I finished first, I think might have been with GONP, which was several years ago now, but this is not the first time I finished first, but it doesn't, doesn't lessen the blow. It still really sucks. Uh, but I think it will just drive us to really, you know, go extra hard next season to, to get that master spot again, get us get our spot back. Because uh, the last time we were there, I believe, was season 40. I want to say season 44, maybe. But we do have some rewards to open for you guys today. Uh, this video is, of course, a pre-recorded video um, that I that I recorded just when the rewards came out. So we are going to be selecting some 25% CSCs. I believe this was, uh, I was going with Cosmic because I was about to rank to a champion of some sort. I can't remember exactly which champion. And then these Nexuses here, really doesn't matter what classes we get because we're not really going for six stars anymore these days. We're so focused on seven stars now that we've got the ability to rank three of them. Uh, that six stars are great, but it's very unlikely that we're going to rank more, many more up unless it's with a rank up gem. We're not really going to want us to use our, tier, our precious tier six class catalyst on six stars anymore. And we also did get some 25% tier 5 CCs as well, but you know, the, the tier 5 CCs is definitely uh, a lot easier to get now these days. Um, so we don't have too much to open from this opening. Uh, we've got a, a couple 7 stars, in fact I'll show another 7 star uh, I opened uh, just the other day, which was a really nice 7 star. Uh, but we can start with these couple of 6 star uh, Nexus. I actually got a new Ultra on there, which is which is cool because uh, yeah, I just never had him. Uh, I've always liked collecting new champions, of course, and so that 6 star Ultron was new. Open this Cosmic Nexus, and I think we're just going to maxi Crystal from this Hercules here. Nothing really too special. I think we might be opening one of the 6 star Featured Crystals as well, uh, because we had that from the Summoner's, the Summoner Sigil store, the Black Iso Market. But we know we'll take a maxi Crystal there from that Hercules. And we also have a Science Nexus that we selected. Uh, again, I'm not really too fussed. I wasn't really too fussed about what classes we got. But we actually got another new champion in, in Morbius here. So that was kind of weird that um, out of the 256 stars I own, the two that we got from the Nexus were actually new, new champions. So you can see here, yeah, I open. I own 252 six stars now. And the only unowned ones, there's only 16 of them. And the majority of them are 2024 20, champions, as you can see. The only other ones are some uh, trophy champions like Thanos, Deadpool, stuff like that. So I'll take two new champions for sure. And I think, yeah, we're opening a six star featured here. Uh, I'm not, yeah, like I said, I'm not really planning on ranking up any of these new six stars unless it's someone really crazy. There is obviously Bullseye here, is the, is the best probably out of the bunch, but I do have a seven star Bullseye. So six star is not going to be very useful at all, of course. But we did actually awaken our Iron Heart from this six star featured. I believe I must have got her from a six star featured in the last few weeks. So we awakened her there. She is really nice. Uh, she's definitely going to be a really nice attacker, I think. Uh, I probably I'm, it's very unlikely I'm going to rank my six star when there's the possibility to get the seven star from the Titan and then in the basic later crystal, the basic crystal later on. Uh, but then we're also maybe going to open some... I'm just open a maxi crystal here. Just get some extra... Well, there we got some six stones, which is uncommon, but we got some six stones there. And I think we have a seven star... No, we have 12,000. So I think, yeah, we've opened a bunch of six stars here. So I wanted to open a seven star. Since it was the war rewards day, I thought it'd be silly not to open a seven star. So we just try and get close to the 15,000 that we need. Open a bunch of six stars here. 
because yeah we open that one feature but i'm not really uh focused on that too much it's better for for iso and for seven star shards it's much better to open these basic crystals of course so we get plenty of seven star shards there in fact that is enough i think that is 15k we do have two maxi crystals as well and so that will get us to that 15k threshold there all right we have you had the seven star crystal now so out of this one i was really looking for things like a chavez dupe a bishop dupe i was looking for i don't think i had killmonger by this point but killmonger and i didn't i don't think i had photon either by this point i do i do have them now uh, Strife Awakening as well would have been really nice because I've used Strife a lot this season, but he really need he, well, he doesn't need it, but that, that Awakening ability really helps him ramp up a lot faster. So a Strife Awakening would be would have been really nice as well. Uh, a Tomb would have been cool. A Korg Awakening would have been really nice. Shuri Awakening, uh, Hyperion Awakening even, Guardian Awakening. But we ended up actually getting a Shang Chi Awakening, which is actually uh, su which surprised me with. Um, because I forgot I had him actually. <laughs> yeah, we awakened our Shang-Chi, which is really nice. Uh, it's not the most amazing sig ability in the world. He doesn't really need the sig ability. The Master of Kung Fu ability gives him an extra bit, bit burst of physical damage. And he can also crit through the opponent's block, which is which is really nice on some certain nodes that you see in, in Battlegrounds and also uh, story content and even Alliance War sometimes, but it's unlikely I'm gonna be using him in Alliance War. I could definitely see myself taking this guy to rank two probably not rank three though and of course this is this is an alliance war opening the main currency of, a, of the alliance war is loyalty and we did have enough loyalty here to open a seven star loyalty crystal so i've opened three of these before and i've managed to get two black cats which is really nice i've got an awakened black cat sitting at rank two and i've also got one vision arcus from this before so uh, the one i was looking for the most here i think was probably a void would have been a really nice pickup because my science roster is all right but uh avoid would have been really nice especially because he is an attacker tactic in the alliance war at the moment but of course he would need that awakened ability uh, but unfortunately we ended up awakening vision arcus which is it's not the worst dupe it, it does give him that extra defensive ability to shrug off debuffs but it's very unlikely i'm going to take it a rank two over a lot of the other cosmics that i have at the moment so yeah, that concludes the war opening. We did get an Awakened Shang-Chi and an Awakened Vision Arcus, which isn't the worst, but could, definitely could have been better. But I do have the seven star crystal that I opened a few days ago. Uh, I, prom I promised myself I wanted to save these up for a massive opening, but I, I got too excited. I just opened the seven star hastily, uh, but it actually paid off because I ended up awakening my kindred. So this guy could definitely and probably really should be going to rank two now because the, that awakened ability gives him that route at the end uh as a defender so definitely could be a really nice uh defender in battlegrounds but we'll see what happens but yeah that's gonna do it for me today guys apologies again that this video did take so long to put out uh, but i really do like putting in the effort that i do into my war videos because i want to be able to show show off what i'm doing but i wanted to be able to present it really well instead of just cramming all the fights together without any editing and no proper voiceover or whatever. I want to actually make it a properly done video. So I hope you have enjoyed the war videos this season. They're definitely going to continue for next season. And I will be posting them pretty much as soon as, as each war ends. I'll be posting the war videos. I'll have them very pretty much fully edited, ready to go. Because uh, I'll have that capability now where I didn't really have the op the the accessibility that I do now. I didn't really have that on the, on the, on the cruise ship. So yeah, really looking forward to that for you guys uh, i've got plenty more of st uh, stuff on the youtube channel coming plenty of live streams plenty of uh i'm actually going to be reviving an old series that i've been doing that i did a few years ago so yeah look forward to that and uh that yeah that's going to do it for me today guys hope you enjoyed and i'll see you in the next one Dead.